Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia today took a review meeting with senior doctors and officials at Ames Bhubaneswar. They're discussing the procedures regarding dead uh, the, the the bodies. So the dead after this incident. Remember, more than 288 bodies have been found from the site of the train tragedy. Uh, 1,100 people have been. Uh, rescued and 500 to 600 of those people are in hospitals around the entire state. So there is, as we speak, pressure on the medical system, on the state. Now, Mandavia informed a team of experts uh, and spoke to a t personnel on the ground. He also said that a team of officials from the New Delhi Ames is going to be traveling to Bhubaneswar. Now, my colleague Kamalika is with us right now to bring us more context. We know, Kamalika, that the Union Health Minister will also be visiting the Capital Hospital in just about 15 minutes from now. Can you bring us more context? Yes, all efforts are being made so that, you know, best possible way treatment can be given to the injured. Injured, And, you know, in one way we are seeing restoration work, track, clearing uh, from the railways. On the other hand, we are seeing that Indian Army, NDRF, the health team of all, uh, you know, railways. Uh, but um, it's, a, it's putting a huge pressure on the uh, Orissa health system. Though so Orissa health system is good, but still there, there's a huge. This is a huge accident. That's why Manchu Pandiawa today came, and uh, all resources have been mobilized from AIMS. So all efforts are now being given so that best possible treatment can take place. But again, you know that question will come up that everything is happening at the cost of so many lives. Uh, this is obviously the central government is doing their best. The Prime Minister himself came. And it is not that Ashwini Vaishya, the Rail Minister, he just came, visited, and he went back. He is there 24-7. He is there in the tracks since two days, like since Friday night, since yesterday morning. So this is the uh, one effort that everybody is... You know, all the departments from the central government have been mobilized. Kamalika, just uh, uh, highlight for our audiences what the challenges for the health infrastructure system across the state are. If you could just give them to us in point form. See, number one, uh, the, you have to understand the pressure. More than 1,000 people injured. So a lot of them have also been taken to the hospitals of Bengal in Medinipur. Still, there is 1,000 injury. So, you know, all these uh, hospitals, and this is a remote, uh, so is is quite far away from Bhuvaneshwar. So, you know, giving the first aid and people who are seriously injured, they have to be airlifted. So, a lot of equipment, uh, I mean, equipment-wise, Balator and in and around the Soro Hospital, we visited in the morning, Soro Hospital. They are not, you know, they are uh, district hospitals. They are not that well equipped. This, you know, we were seeing the injury. The injury is a grievous injury. It just becomes difficult, and they don't have, you know, the state is equipped to uh, to actually go in a normal process. The normal medical issues are also there. You know, every day, uh, you know, people who are facing different difficulties health-wise, they are anyway coming in the hospital. On the top of that, the number of injured are thousands. So that is where it is putting pressure on the hospital. Okay, Kamalika, thank you for bringing us those details. I want to take our audiences now to what Union Minister Anurag Thakur had to say about the incident. Take a look. ...where there was a lot of people of people who were in the hospital. And after this, the government has taken the steps to take the steps. And the government has taken the steps to take the steps. I said that... Look... देखिए विपक्ष को जो मांगना है वो मांगे मेरा सिर्फ इतना कहना है ऐसे विषयों पर ऐसी दुर्घटना पर देश को एक साथ आना चाहिए जब कोविड की समस्या थी तब भी हम सब ने जहां एक और भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने सड़कों पर उतरकर भी सेवा करने का काम किया मजदूरों से लेकर गरीबों तक की सरकार ने भी उस तरह से कदम उठाए कुछ लोग उस समय भी राजनीति कर रहे थे मैं इतना कहूँगा हर समय और हर मुद्दे पर राजनीतिक अवश्य नहीं है कुछ मुद्दों पर पूरे देश को समाज को राजनीतिक दलों को इकट्ठे आना चाहिए क्योंकि ये जो घटना घटी है हम सब के लिए चिंताजनक भी थी और हम सब लोगों को अपनी सेवा भाव के साथ इसमें जुड़ना चाहिए
जो इंडिपेंडेंट बॉडी है कमिश्नर रेल सेफ्टी उन्होंने इन्वेस्टिगेशन किया है मेरा इस वक्त कमेंट करना ठीक नहीं होगा कवच का इससे कोई संबंध नहीं कल ममता जी आके बोल के गई थी उनको जितना इस विषय के बारे में जानकारी होगी उसके हिसाब से उन्होंने कहा ये विषय अलग है इस विषय में पॉइंट मशीन की बात है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंटरलॉकिंग की बात है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंटरलॉकिंग में जो चेंज किया जिसके कारण ये दुर्घटना हुई जिसने भी किया जिसने भी जो भी इसके कारण है वो इन्वेस्टिगेशन से निकलेगा इसका बात जो ममता जी ने कही वो नहीं है जो लोग आहत होके थे उनको भी मिले सारे रिस्टोरेशन काम लगभग पूरा हो गया है फिर भी कुछ चैलेंज बाकी है एनडीआरएफ ओडीआरएफ रेलवे की पूरा टीम कल रात भर भी काम किया है कैसे ज्यादा त्वरित गति से चिकित्सित किया जाए उसकी आ, हम लोग चिंता कर रहे हैं कंपनी सेशन की भी जिम्मेवारी ली गई है जो मृतक परिवार है जो थोड़ा ज्यादा क्षति हुआ है जिनका या जो थोड़ा माइनर इंजुरी है सभी की चिंता की जा रही है लगभग आज शाम तक ये एक प्रकार से ट्रेन चलने की स्थिति आ जाए ऐसा एक अनुमान है ये अनुमान है